On September 10, 2023, an officer from the Osseo Police Department and a state trooper were chasing a vehicle at speeds over 100 miles per hour. The vehicle lost control and crashed. Multiple occupants fled, but the driver stayed and was placed in the back of a patrol car before the video started. Police, if you're out here, show me your hands! And be advised, 610 and I are going to be checking the wood line. Vehicles approximately a hundred feet down in the ditch. Do you want other units to continue? Yeah, I'm going to leave Send for it. Seven seven county be advised the vehicles about a hundred yards off the roadway. Adam King, X-ray 9663. Adam King, X-ray 9663, Wisconsin. Copy 28. They're going to be in this woods. What? They're going to be in here. Yeah. Police, come out if you're in here. You're only making it worse for yourselves, guys. Come out now. Good. There's a hat. They're in here. 54, be advised, we found a ball cap. They're gonna be in this Please, wood line. come out with your hands up, do it now! You come out or we're sending a dog after you! You're only making it worse. Show me your hands and come to the side of my boy. Ten four. 10-4, um, yes, get a K-9. We do have indicators that they're gonna be uh, hunkered down in this patch of woods along Highway 53, 3754. Keep your eyes open for anybody coming, walking down the roadway. So he had to hit this embankment at over 100 because I was doing 137 and he was going, he, he was pulling away. Hit it and went right over. Yeah. And you checked the car, there's nobody in it. Yeah, we, we already cleared the car. Found Is him. Is there blood anywhere in there? No. And there's, like I said, if you come up this field, about a hundred yards. Like any trails in the? Mm -hmm. So, about a hundred yards up, there's a barbed wire fence that runs all the way just inside the tree lane. There's a baseball cap hanging on the barbed wire fence, like he got caught as he tried to go up through it. Uh -huh. And that's when we stopped looking. Is there any blood or anything in the car? Not that we've observed. I just asked that. That blood is my mind. Okay. And he's, he's the driver. He's the driver. Found him crawling up the hillside. He said he's the driver? Yeah. The reason why for running is because they've been drinking. And they're not 21. That's why. I think Good. Good. Yes, sir. Do you want to hook them up, put them in your car, because you're going to have the felony flea elude and the... Negative 5-5? Five five? Uh, absolute sobriety violation. So I do, I will have to read him, the informing the accused and all that, but I can bring my computer over to your car. And I'll just follow you over to the jail, or the... Seven seven coming. Ten ninety five. With the driver. Who's taking the arrest? OPD's gonna be handling. It's gonna be board. absolute sobriety. And the ten fifty. I have them ten ninety five so for the fleeing and eluding, and what? state's gonna get them for the he needs to tell us who's about absolute sorry. sobriety. That is Miranda's Zachary. You can call me Zach. Zach? Okay. Yeah. So I need you to listen very carefully, okay? Oh. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. Oh, wait. Don't read that. Let me read my informant. Honestly, good. It's fine. 
No, it's there's a step to everything. Right. You all medical? Okay. Seventy seven so County the OWI charge, for forty three okay. drivers right. refusing so medical. I'm read this form to you. I've got to read it word for word. It's oh. asking if you'll consent to a blood draw. Under Wisconsin's implied consent law, I'm required to read this notice to you. You've either been arrested for an offense that involves driving or operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol or drugs or both, or you are the operator of a vehicle that was involved in an accident that caused the death of great bodily harm to or substantial bodily harm to a person, or you are suspected of driving or being on duty time with respect to a commercial motor vehicle after consuming an intoxicating beverage. This law enforcement agency now wants to test one or more samples of your breath, blood, or urine to determine the concentration of alcohol or drugs in your system. If any test shows more alcohol in your system than the law permits while driving, your operating privilege will be suspended. If you refuse to take any test that this agency requests, your operating privilege will be revoked and you'll be subject to other penalties. The test results or the fact that you refuse testing can be used against you in court. If you take all the requested tests, you may choose to take further tests. You may take the alternative test that this law enforcement agency provides free of charge. You also may take a test, may have a test conducted by a qualified person of your choice at your expense. You, however, will have to make your own arrangements for that test. If you have a commercial driver's license or operating a commercial motor vehicle, other consequences may result from positive test results or from refusing testing, such as being placed out of service or disqualified. In addition, your operating privilege will also be suspended if there's a detectable amount of a restricted controlled substance in your blood. Will you submit to an evidentiary chemical test of your blood? Uh, so I get paid for this one? No, this one's free. Well, you'll get a reimbursement charge, but it's what? It's, I don't know what they charge. Usually it's about $75. 75 okay. So is there an easier way of doing this? No, Trumpelo County only does blood result, blood tests. Fine, yeah, sure, whatever. Yes? Okay. Yeah. I'm good. All right. Now, what I was telling you earlier, you have the right to remain silent and anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand these rights if I, as I have explained them to you? Yep. Having these rights in mind, are you willing to answer any of my questions now? Depends. What's the questions? It's a yes or no question, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay, listen to me. This is a bad crash. We need to make sure your friends are okay. Which way did they run? Who are they? I swear to God, I have no idea. Well, you know who is in the car. I know who is in there. And what are their names? we need to make sure they are okay. Do you see how bad that is? Yeah. And if you were driving, you are responsible for that. Anything happens to them, it's going to fall on you. Do you understand the severity of that? I understand. Who was in the car with you? If you're thinking that they're going to be mad at you for telling on them, I'm sure they'd be happier that if they got really hurt in this crash, that you told us who they were so they don't die in the woods. Charges go way up for you if something bad happens to one of them, mm -hmm. and we could have been there to save them or get them EMS care. Dude, if help they die, us help you. If they die, you go to jail for pretty much the rest of your life. Okay, you ready? I read it. Maybe. Stupid pen. I got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. Are they 18, 19? You're 19? They're all 18? I'm 18. Alright, thank you. Do you know if they have their phones on them? I'm not sure. So why'd you run? Well, I didn't want to get caught, but that was not a good decision. Not a good decision. Get caught for what? Do you even know why you were being Honestly, stopped? I don't even know. No. But I was stopping you for failing to stop at the stop sign. I thought it stopped, but I, I guess maybe I didn't. Maybe I rolled. You rolled through it right in front of both of us. All that would have happened, so, okay, you've got a little bit of alcohol in your system, so you get the OWI. Yeah. You go to court, you fight that. Yeah. Now you've got felony charges because you took off. Is that worth it? Oh. No. 
What's your mom and dad's phone number? Are you in high school still? No, I graduated. This was last year? Yep. What's mom and dad's phone number? Uh, my mom is 715. What's your mom's name? Christo. You gonna talk to her? I'll talk to her. Nicole, will you handle any radio for me? I'm calling his mom. Will you handle any radio if they call me? Uh, oh. Is your car online? Yeah. I'm just gonna hold Hello, is this Krista? Hi, Krista. My name is Officer Larson with the Osseo Police Department. Are you the mother of Zachary? Okay. I'm calling to inform you that I have Zachary in custody. Zachary, uh, State Patrol attempted to make a traffic stop on him for failure to stop at a stop sign, and he ran. And we ended up in a pursuit with him at over 130 miles an hour southbound on 53, and he crashed the car into the ditch. The car is totaled. He is okay. But the three individuals in the car with him ran. So Zachary is going to be charged with OWI absolute sobriety, felony fleeing, eluding, and, and some other charges may be coming out of this. Is the, is the Impala yours or his? Okay, well the car is totaled and it's going to be impounded and um, right now our concern is is because they went down an embankment at over 100 miles an hour and took out a guardrail. We are trying to find the three friends to make sure they're okay. If any of his friends are hurt, he will end up getting, he could get charges for that as well. Okay, so what's going to happen from here? And we're going to be on scene here for a bit because we have a canine coming out to track the other three. So what's going to happen from here is I'm going to be transporting him to Tri-County Hospital in Whitehall. And we're going to draw his blood to see what his alcohol content is at. And then, he'll be tra and then he will be transported to the Trempeau County Jail. Okay. So I want you to know that he is okay. He has his minor cuts that we see at this time. Um... But uh, he is going to be booked into the jail tonight, and I, he probably will not get out tonight. Okay? If you have any questions, do you have any questions for me at this time? He's got to go to Mayo first for my blood drop. I can do it at Tri-County. The jail's going to make you get medical clearance anyway. Can't you just do it all at Tri-County? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So... I'm um, just informing you what's going on. Uh, do you know the three individuals he was with? Okay, where are you guys at right now? Okay. All right, well, just know that he is safe and he's not hurt. Um, but he is in some pretty big trouble with us right now. Okay. Um, once... Once he gets booked into the jail, he'll be able to call you probably tomorrow from there. Um, but he's more than likely going to spend the rest of the weekend in there until you can see the judge, possibly on Tuesday. Do we have his ID out somewhere? Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Do we know him? Right. Marty, you're going to get bit! Thank you for coming. Yeah, Dude, that's a pretty big crap. He hit this guard route over 100. I chased him down 53. Um, driver, we have in custody. I walked the field line up along the wood line. I didn't go into the woods. 
There's a hat hanging on the barbed wire fence. It looks like it got caught as somebody went through it. Our main concern which, right now uh, is, I'm sorry? Which, which way does this fence go? Or does it border it goes, the field? It borders the field and it goes straight that way. <laughs> First time for everything. Yeah, all of his personals are on your driver's seat. Okay. I started a tow. I told him this to stay for now. Um, before you leave, I'm just going to print you my blood urine analysis form. Are you going to gonna come down kit. through after this? I will, but I'm going to have to take some photos and do all that, so I'll be a little bit behind you. Do you have any charges on passengers? The police department At this point, unit. I'm more concerned you about their safety would. than I am charges. We yeah. know all of your names. You need to come out now, or the police dog is going to be used to find you. When the canine finds you, he is going to bite you. All three of you are under arrest. You need to come out and surrender with your hands up right now. Final warning, police canine unit, we're going to come out and find you with the dog. When he finds you, he's going to bite you. How you doing? Good. How's your head and all that feeling now that it's been a few minutes? I'm fine. Any pain anywhere? Oh, Outside of what is happening with you, man, I still want to make sure you're okay, all right? Yeah, all right. Temperature okay in here? You look warm, cold? All right. slowed down, happened to catch his tail lights, the reflector, in my headlight. So I got out and stopped and I saw a flashlight click on and then a flashlight click off and I went, oh no, you're mine. Yeah. Yeah, here's his tread marker here. Yeah, he came in hot. That's a nasty graph. I mean, I'd be surprised if none of them were he's got, he's got a couple scrapes on his legs and that's it. Yeah? Yeah. If I get you that blood urine analysis do you want to take off and just go get blood right away yeah do you need to do more here you gotta get pictures yeah i gotta do pictures and i'm gonna they're gonna throw the drone up so i'll hang out and help them if they pull something on the drone and then i can just meet you in whitehall at the jail yeah well they're gonna i'm gonna have to have the medically cleared and due to the nature of the crash they're gonna probably want to do a all shit ton of tests all right i'll call you when i'm getting ready to leave but let me get you that blood paperwork all you have to do is just make a copy of it after she fills it out for me and then before she seals it in the box. Does Tri County then, have kits? Yeah. Okay. So I've never taken anybody there for blood draws. The paper that you would normally fill out by hand, I've got just an online version that's already filled out. Okay. So I'll print that out with all my stuff. Just have her sign it when she's done with the blood draw before she seals it in the make box, a make a copy. That way I know who she is and I can write my report based on that. Okay. But that should be all you need for right now. And then when I clear from here, I'll call you and find out where you're at. Are you guys okay hanging out so I can take him down? Absolutely. All right, appreciate it. All right, buddy. Hey, this is us here, please. Oh, somebody opened our number. We gotta do a blood draw. Legal blood? Yep. That's it? Yep. Oh, and med clearance. Right here. and crashed at over 100 miles an hour.
Yeah, it's going on. Are you going to be okay if I uncover you? That's fine. You promise? I promise. I'm Dr. Steph. How are we doing? Fine. He refused medical on scene. He keeps saying he's fine. He's got some That's obvious scrapes. So. Did your airbag deploy in the car? Yes. Okay. You can break his arm around. I know you don't want to see a doctor. I'm a doctor, so I'm going to just look at you and make sure you can safely be in jail. So. Scratches on your legs, some knee pains, anything else that's hurting you? No, I'm fine. Okay. Headache, neck pain? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Any substances on board? No. Alcohol, painkillers? No alcohol? On board? You're drinking. Have you been drinking? I have, yeah. Okay. That's gonna, those are the things that can deter your ability to tell what's hurting in that, you know, things that numb me up a little bit. Do you know where you are right now? Hospital in my all. Okay. Do you know what day of the week it is? Yeah, Saturday and o'clock. Sunday, I guess. That's okay. a good question. Good job. That's a, <laughs> no good question, one. yeah. Why don't you take a listen to your heart and lungs, make sure you're... Um, you said the airplane deployed chest pain at all from the airbag? Uh, did you have to be found them? I heard bits and pieces of it. I was going through Pigeon at that point. Uh, they're going home to Blair, all of the kids in the same car, the car that passed me. Um, before or after? Did you hear, I, I can't remember, Randy told Justin something about the other three. Does he want them in custody? I would assume so. Okay. Um, so if you drop him at the jail, maybe she can do your intake. We'll go grab the other ones. And then you can do your 48 when we come back. Or if they want to call Randy and see what he wants done. I mean, they all did run from you. So you got felony eluding on all of them. Yeah. I'm guessing that's what Randy would want. I'd probably call and double check, though. He's only got his like staff phone, doesn't he? I've got all the over here. Alright guys, this does not mean you're under arrest, okay? But yeah. I have to advise you of your rights. Alright? Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult with a lawyer before questioning and have a lawyer present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to, to represent you at public expense before, during any questioning, if you so wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop questioning and remain silent at any time if you wish, and the right to ask for and have a lawyer at any time you wish, including during questioning. Do each of you understand these rights as I've read them to you one at a time? Yep. Realizing that you have these rights in mind, are you now willing to answer any questions or make any statements to me? Yes. I need a verbal from all of you. Yes. Okay. All right. Why did you guys run? Scared. First off, tell me, I want to know what what made it, What made you all run from the state trooper that tried to pull you over? Well, the driver, which would have been Zach, yep. of course. Yeah. He, he had a couple, I think. I'm sure you guys know that. I don't know if you guys do or not. And I think pretty much, I, we we figured it. We told him he should get off and stop because they're running. We yeah, obviously, obviously weren't going to get anywhere running. And uh, I think he was overall, he was just scared and has adrenaline and he was not scared. And Go ahead. That was that. And then he started going, driving, and we we thought he should have pulled over, all of us. And uh, Time for it. I guess he didn't, and that was... Okay. So why did you all run from the scene? Scared. Scared. Yeah. No. Scared. What did you tell me? We had a we had a few ourselves. Our, we weren't drunk by any means. How old are you? Eighteen. How old are you? Eighteen. How old are you? Eighteen. So we were scared and that's the adrenaline got the best of us and we uh, definitely should not have ran. That was about the stupidest decision we could ever make. Well the stupidest decision was driving in the first place, but 150, 200 yards down, you're like, Did you hear us yelling for you? 
How we did not. Um, we had a dog. We had a dog out there looking for you. Uh, and a here. drone. And a drone. And probably seven officers. So, the okay. amount of resources we looked to look for you guys because not. Not that we wanted to catch you because you ran. We wanted, because of the speed you guys crashed at, we were concerned if you were injured. Um, Who lost their hat? Uh, mine was in the car. We found a hat attached to a Fetz. Was that yours? Probably. Okay. White? Yeah. White. Oh, white? Blue. Red? I didn't see the brim. I just left it there so the dog could pick up your scent. Yeah, and we are scared. and right. finally got the best of us. Right. We found this. Got a little ways down, and about by the time we got there, we didn't know what to do, and we knew that we should not have ran in the first place, because that wasn't going to do us any good. We are just, uh, was not good. So where were you, where were you guys hiding? We weren't really hiding, we were just walking down the woods well, along the road, road basically. just walking. We weren't trying but to... But in the woods? No, no farther than 40 yards off the road. Not even that. Just Did walking. you see any of the cars, our, our cars looking for you? We could see you? cars drive by, cars, we didn't see anyone looking for us. We seen cars. Like we didn't see a spotlight or something. Seen them drive by and everything like that, but there was no one with a light out or anything looking for us. And we were just we were just walking, and uh, we should not have should not have ran. So you were walking still in the woods though, not right along the road. Both. Yeah. yeah. The, well, the wood the road, road was right here, and the woods. Was, uh, oh. It was no. Sometimes it was ten yards, and sometimes we we're walking right along the shoulder road. Right just, away though, like right away we we're. Yeah, right away, we went right off. wherever. Yeah. Yeah. It's not uh, very bright. So where on 53 did you get picked up? Uh, so on some side or other. It was, uh, I don't remember. Was it you that picked him up or no? No, another one. Who picked friends. you up? One of our uh, friends. One of your friends? Yeah. yeah. We're so they'll, they'll tell you who it was if you we were scared. And we have her played already. We were yeah. scared and you know. didn't know what to do, so we called them. Okay, well here's here's what you guys don't understand is that we, you can be charged for f leaving the scene of an accident for one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can be charged for fleeing. Yeah. Which is a felony. Which is a felony. Yeah. And you guys are 18 years old. Yeah. What do y'all want to do when you get older? I'd, uh, or when you what, like career-wise, what do you want to do? Uh, automotive technician. Okay. Agronomy. Agronomy. Going to college at uh, CVTC in Eau Claire. Up there. If I charge you with a felony right now, what do you think that's going to do for you? Absolutely. You're not. 18 years old. Guess what? That follows you forever. Yeah. It's going to be good. Won't be able to do anything. All that CDL stuff. Yeah. Going to get. Well, and, I mean, not only just the consequences, you know, for you guys, but like, you know who your dad is and who he is around town. Like, do you think that this is what he wants? Because your guys' names and his name were all on the radio. You know how many people listen to the radio? Like, do you think that that's something he wants? No. Not to mention, your dad has been to how many countless crashes at that speed and has seen what happened to people that weren't fortunate like you. Yeah. Just like we have. That car is totaled. You guys hit that ditch at over 100. You're lucky you all had seat belts on. No. Yeah. And not only did you hit the ditch, but I don't know if you're familiar with Torpen Road. It's a, it's like a 25 foot drop into a farmer's field, and you destroyed his fence. And now you're looking at criminal damage to property. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys willing to write statements as to what happened tonight? I can. Yeah. yeah. All of you? Yes. We'll leave these here. With you want to them right away or? So no, you can. One of us will pick them up tomorrow. Yeah, just fill them out. Yeah. But I want I want you guys to tell me, give me your accounts, individual accounts like of, what, of what, what happened yeah. from start to end. Yeah. If you need to attach more paper, you're welcome to do that. Write on back or something. You can write on the back or use a regular notebook paper or whatever, okay? Sure. Um, all you have to fill out is... Your name, date of birth, and age, and your home address. Phone numbers, <coughs> um, do not worry about that. That will take care of. On this date, write the date and the time you started. Okay. Start okay. writing? Yeah. Okay. And I want your accounts on everything, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Are we supposed to write when we finish? What's that? When we finish writing. Finish time? Time you no. 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 So. no, just when you start. Yeah. All right. And then... Um, would you all, um, consent to a preliminary breakfast?
Right. I'll hand these to you. I'll be right back. So y'all admit to drinking tonight? Yeah. What were you drinking, liquor or beer? Beer. beer. beer? How many did you, did you have? I'd say three or four, I'd say. Okay, how about you? I'd say four, four or six, something yeah. on the sort. Yeah. Okay. Where were you drinking at? Well, we were at his house, just down there. And then we were going to go to McDonald's. That's how you ended up in Osseo? That's right. how, yeah. And then... It's an arcade in McDonald's is closed. Do you even know why he was going to be stopped? Why the trooper? What? Why the trooper was making uh, a traffic I stop on? Yes. I was eating my sandwich. Well, we were going to go to McDonald's, and then we went to Quick Trip. And yeah, I think he went through that stop sign, and I, don't th I think he probably did a rolling stop. If I had to take he would have got nothing but a warning for that. Yeah. That's what we told him he should pull over. But, yeah. And that's what the trooper told me. He was going to issue him a warning for the stop. Yeah. Obviously, he'd been drinking. If he'd have smelled that, he'd have taken things further. But that was in his mindset when he was making that stop, and you guys took off. Yeah. Not to mention, when I came across you, you guys almost hit me at a high rate of speed in a residential neighborhood. Okay? I know you weren't driving. Okay? I'm just... I, I want you guys to understand the... All right. Have you ever done one of these before? I have not. Okay. You're going to blow like you're blowing through a straw. I need you to blow hard and steady, okay? Yep. Until I tell you to stop. Yep. You ready? Go ahead. Blow, blow, blow harder. Blow, 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 blow. Stop. Grab the end of the tube. You get to keep it. What's your name? Okay, same thing as him, okay? Okay, same thing. Blow harder, harder, harder. There you go. Stop. Grab the end of the tube. Souvenir. Okay, same thing. Harder. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Grab the tube. You're the lowest one in the group. So you were 052, 049, 025. Talk to you for a second. Get your opinion. Can I legally just give them an underage for off the admittance and and cut them loose with that? Or uh, I don't know where they were drinking at though. Well, it so it wouldn't be. They able. admitted it and that you they PBT'd. They mm -hmm. So they were drinking beer. Um, Can you smell it? I've been close enough to him, yeah, so that's all, that, that's all that you need. So, but I can't give him an Aussie ordinance if they weren't, you know what I mean? Because I'm oh. in contact down here. That's my question. Here's my thought process. They're I being, they're being cooperative. They're obviously, know they did wrong. Yeah. So my thought process was, they write the statements, they get underagers, and that's it. Because they weren't in control of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Even if they told him to stop, he wouldn't have. Yeah. They still knowingly ran. Yes. Though, but I mean, yeah, they're being cooperative, and you can tell they know they did wrong, they're being respectful. Um, so my thought was just cut them those sites. At least they get something, but it won't like be detrimental to their future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if... Because they said they were drinking here. Here in Blair? Yeah. 
And I didn't see the car. I don't know if there was alcohol or anything in the car. Yeah, that's bronze going through it. Either way, though, yeah, it was the 51 just ours. got there to pull it out, so. State could write them. Right? We can write them, too. It doesn't matter. You can? Mm, yeah, I mean, it's just under a state statute, right? Hmm? Or the, I mean, we have I an ordinance. Do, I can do it, too, but I just won't. If I do it, I just have to leave my ordinance blank. But then it it causes a problem, because then who does it go to? It goes to the DA? Because our underagers go to our city attorney. Mm. Yeah, I think it would go to the DA if they were to fight it, but I don't think they would. Um, cause yeah, we ha I think we have an un yeah we have a underage ordinance because I just wrote two of them. Um, I guess what's your thought? I don't. I mean, yeah, I don't. I don't think that you necessarily need. I mean, there were a lot of resources wasted when they could have. If they're, they knew that they were in the wrong, I mean, they very easily, I, there's no way they didn't hear us, and they they were not walking along the side of the road, because we checked that road yeah. so immediately. My other thought is, is that we could forego the underage, and I can just refer in my report, misdemeanor fleeing and looting for leaving the scene, or get him for leaving the scene of an accident. Yeah, you could cite him for that. Well, I don't know if you can. The state would have to. Mm -hmm. Well, and you, I mean, you don't necessarily need to write the underages tonight. No, I'm like just, I'm, I guess I'm asking. I don't know how that's going to work. If, being if it were me, I would probably write them yes for the underage and leaving the scene. Because, I, I mean, that's out. giving them a giant break anyway. Right. right. But they need something, right. obviously. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, we'll find out about if you can write it or if we need to. doesn't matter, really. Um, and then, yeah, see if state can write them for leaving I think the what scene. I'm going to do is I'm going to for sure tell them that they'll probably get that and that it's going to be up to state patrol if they get a fleeing, the scene, leaving the scene of an accident site. So I'm sure he'll cite them for that. Ron, yeah. I'm sure he will. He's pissed. Well, I'm sure the driver's getting a lot. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Here's what's going to happen, okay? Yep. At the very least, you're probably going to get underage uh, citations. They'll be mailed to you later, Fair okay? Um, State Patrol may hit you with a um, citation charge with leaving the scene of an accident. Yep. Which will also be mailed to you if that's the case, okay? Yep. Um, once I submit my report on your friend, because yep. your names are all going to be in it, yep. I the DA could come after you for the fleeing of us when we were actively trying to find you, okay? But that'll be up to the court or to the district attorney. Yeah. Okay? So just be aware of that. Yeah. All right? Fill those statements out. As soon as you're done, um, he knows how to get a hold of anybody in the county. He can call one of the deputies or dispatch, and they'll have somebody come pick him up, okay? Doesn't need to be that. You can do it tomorrow. Yeah. Also, if you guys start having any signs of headaches or severe pains or anything like that, make sure you go get checked out because, like I said, that was a high-speed crash. Or, I mean, obviously you know that, but if you think it's in their best interest, which, in my opinion, if your highest speed was 120, you probably crashed at I, 100. My... I would pro if it were me, I would want to get checked out anyway just because of the speed and the nosedive that you did. My squad car was doing 137 miles an hour trying to keep up with you. And you guys were still pulling away from me. So, you were going really damn fast when you hit that corner. And that guardrail. So, okay. Mm, you might not feel it now, because like you said, your adrenaline was going, but you're going to start to yeah. feel it tomorrow. You're probably not going to feel very good. So. If you have any questions as far as that go, obviously, you know, he knows how, what to look for if anything's serious, okay? Do you have any questions or comments, concerns, anything like that? I do not. Okay. You guys understand that you're getting a huge break from us, yeah. okay? Because have, we have every legal right to throw you all in handcuffs and take you to jail right now. Yeah. And had you given me attitude, that's what, exactly what was going to happen. So I appreciate you being cooperative. Yep. It's just helping you out. Okay?
Got anything else? You guys could probably thank them. Too for yeah, the thank DA you. Guys. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Yeah. Well, Fairly if stupid. the DA doesn't pursue anything on you guys further, then look at it as lesson learned and don't do it again. Uh, there won't be no doing it again. Okay. Um, so. One more question that I don't think we asked yet. You said you were drinking here in his house. Did you guys, like, bring any alcohol in the car or anything? Not, we're not going to cite you for it, but just for our purposes. There Did was, you have alcohol yeah, in the car? And, like, when you were at McDonald's or something sure you were drinking? Pretty sure there was some in the trunk, and then I think there was some in the car. Yeah. Okay, so you were drinking in the car. We're not going to write yeah. you for it, just... just yeah, we just info. need to know where, where you were drinking at. Yeah. So in, when you were in Osseo or wherever you were drinking? I don't think, I don't think we had anything open when we were in Osseo. But there, had some. There was so you said you went to ask you to go to Quick Trip. We McDonald's. were going to go to McDonald's. McDonald's, okay. Yeah. Quick Trip instead. But it's possible that you could have had something drinking in Osseo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, well, did you drink in Osseo? Like, well, I mean, alcohol? there was stuff in the car, yeah. Were you, acti- were you actively drinking it in Osseo, though? I was no, not I drinking was, uh, in the town. Was it open? Mine was I, open. I yeah. Yours was open? Was open. open it was open. Okay. I did open. not have a sip that in Osseo. clears that up. Yeah. So I will be actually be writing you underage citations, okay? Yeah. They will be Osseo City Ordinance citations, yep. Yep. and I will be mailing them to you, okay? Yep. They'll probably go in the mail on Monday, and you should get them this week. Yep. All right? Just take care of those sites. What happens from there, like I said, is most likely going to be up to the district attorney, okay? You guys have any questions for us? I don't know, sir. You have anything more? No, just if you start feeling weird in your head or anything, just let him know. Make sure you get seen because head injuries, you know, they can come on fast, and especially with the impact that you had, you know, we would hate to see something happen overnight. So. Okay. Any questions, sir? I give him a ride home. Yeah, you yep, you can bring yep. him home. Okay. Yep. And like I said, if you start feeling different yeah. or anything make sure you reach out to somebody okay mm-hmm. uh i see you're cut up and you're cut up are you cut up anywhere uh, I mean, my legs. Like yeah from heading through the, the briars okay, briars yeah. i think you lift your shirt up a little bit i do i do lift your shirt up okay heading through the briars but i got nothing on here not near Bryars, yeah so. just you two have tetanus shots do you have a tetanus shot yeah okay yeah. nothing because if you don't, I would get one. <laughs> yeah. That barbar is really rusty, man. Yeah. Mm. Where you cut up at? This side, man. From the briars. This right there. Anywhere else? So I have a couple of small yeah, stretches. Do I? Do I? The other side. Mm. The other side. Let's get your arm to it. Remember, it is from like priors and stuff. Yeah, man. Let me get that. Over, turn your arm over. There you go. Flip your arms over. All right, if you have any questions, um, feel free to call the sheriff's office and they can get a hold of me, okay? Um, when you get done with your statement, mm-hmm. just hand it to him. Yeah, that's And then he can contact us and we'll come. somebody will come get it, okay? Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for the cooperation. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. A judge found the driver guilty on two counts of resisting slash failing to stop and operating while intoxicated and dismissed the rest of the charges. He was sentenced to an 18-month deferred prosecution program and ordered to pay $912 in fines. The three passengers received underage drinking citations. Alright. So I've got some more citations that I'm going to quickly explain to you, okay? It's all really similar to the OWI as far as the court and stuff go. Um, so I wrote you for 
the fail to obey the traffic signal, that's going to be for running the stop sign. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, it's a non-mandatory court date for me. It's going to be November 21st, 8.30 a.m., Trempeau County Courthouse in Whitehall. Okay. Bond amount, the fine amount for that is $175.30. Okay. I wrote you for the failure to keep your vehicle under control. As soon as you crash, you're guilty of that. Again, November 21st, 8.30 a.m. is your court date. Bond amount for that is $213.10. Okay, I warned you for your speed. When I had you, you were doing 38 and a 30, so I warned you for your speed. Did not cite you for it, I warned you. This is your crash report instruction form, okay? You crash your car, it's a reportable crash. You did damage to your car, you did damage to the guardrail and to the farmer's fence. This right here is the actual crash document number. This is my agency case number. This is my name, my badge number, and my department. Your job is to fill out the top portion here and then send it to your insurance company. This is so that they can get a copy of the crash report and the photos. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about this form? No. Okay, all this is going to be in your property with the other citations that I issued you. Do you have any questions about the citations that I issued you? No. you understand why they were issued? Yeah. Okay. All right, Zach. Since we're in a different setting and I broke contact with you since you were brought here by somebody else, I have to redo your rights, okay? Actually, I'm give me one more second. Zach, what's your <coughs> cell phone number for the crash report? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult with a lawyer before questioning and to have a lawyer present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you at public ex expense before, during, or during any questioning, if you so wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you may ha you have the right to stop questioning and remain silent at any time you wish, and the right to ask for and have a lawyer at any time you wish, including during questioning. Do you understand these rights as I read them? Mm -hmm. Realizing these rights, will you talk to me and answer any questions and statements? I, uh... Yes? Yes. Okay. okay. Sorry. Um, so we found some... I f we found your friends, yeah. and I spoke to all three of them, okay? Okay. Um, there was open intox in the vehicle. Were you drinking while driving the vehicle? No, I wasn't. Was anybody dr drinking while the vehicle was in operation? Um, they must have been, I guess. I wasn't really. Okay. Where did you guys come from, and where were you going? I came from Blair. And where were you heading, and what brought you to Osseo? We were just driving around, I guess. Okay. Did you guys get the beer? I think we just took it out of parents' fridge. Yeah, I guess some of it. Okay. How many beers are in the cooler in the trunk of the car? I don't see no clue. Some of the ones in the trunk of the car were for you. Well, eventually they would have been, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, unfortunately, your cell phone must still be in the car, and we were not able to find it in the car, or at least Trooper Braun here did not see it when he went through the car. So we don't know where your phone is at this point, okay? Um, Mom and Dad showed up on scene. I talked with them a little bit, explained what was going on, explained where you were, so they're, they know where you're at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, your friends are receiving citations. You will also be receiving a citation from me in, under city ordinance for uh, the consumption of alcohol while underage, okay? Mm -hmm. And there may be a few more in there too, but I have to look at everything else, the totality of everything first, okay? Well, what would the other ones be, if you don't mind? It'd be like... Um, Minor transport of an open intoxicant in a motor vehicle, and there could be a possible obstruction resisting in there since you fled. Okay. Yeah. But the main thing you're going to get from me right now, for sure, which I'll mail to your house, is going to be an underage. Okay? Mm -hmm. I just want to confirm this is still a current address, correct? 
Yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions for us, man? Uh, can I get a phone call, I guess? And That's. Talk to my I will. Mom. I will ask the jail staff if you could make a phone call right now and see, what, and that'll be up to them. Okay. Yeah, they just told me that. Whenever you guys got my phone here, but I guess you don't know, have my phone. I was calling. Do you, you, you know your mom's, mom's number? Phone number? Yeah, I know my mom's phone number. Okay. okay. Any other questions? You have anything more? Okay. I'm good. As long as you you understand everything, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Just push that button. Nope, just hang tight and the jailer come let us out here. So like I said, this will just all be with your, your property, okay? Yes. We're ready. Yes, ma'am. She said okay. Oh, I thought she said you're done. Are you in any pain right now or anything? Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go. After you, sir.